Welcome to the World Brief. Ukrainian refugees are leaving Poland for Germany and the employment opportunities it offers. The Globe and Mail. A new study by the University of Warsaw and EWL Group has found that a growing number of Ukrainians have left Poland for Germany. Germany has surpassed Poland as the country hosting the most Ukrainian refugees, and researchers predict that Ukrainians could become the largest ethnic group in Germany by next year. The number of Ukrainian citizens registered in Germany has increased by over 410,000 since August 2022, and Poland has seen a decrease of 350,000 in Ukrainian citizens. The study found that most Ukrainians went to Germany on the recommendation of friends and to find better paying jobs. California lawmakers OK bills banning certain chemicals in foods and drinks. The Toronto Star. California lawmakers have voted to ban four chemicals from processed food and drinks in the state by 2027. The chemicals, which are used in popular products such as peeps, have already been banned in the European Union and other countries due to links with health problems including cancer. The state legislature also passed a bill that requires schools to teach students about the causes and effects of climate change, and a bill that could lead to the creation of more cannabis cafes. 10,000 dead or missing in Libya flooding as entire neighborhoods swept out to sea. The Globe and Mail. Over 10,000 people are dead or missing following a storm and subsequent flooding in eastern Libya. The flood, which destroyed dams and caused buildings to collapse, triggered anger over the lack of flood warnings. Over 1,000 bodies have been recovered so far, but local officials estimate that over 5,000 people have died and several thousand more are missing. The flash floods were caused by Storm Daniel, which dumped a record-breaking amount of rain on central Greece before moving southwards to Libya. Republicans are opening an impeachment inquiry into Joe Biden. Here's what that means. ABC. Kevin McCarthy, the Republican leader in the U.S. House of Representatives, has called for an impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden over allegations of corruption and abuse of power. McCarthy claims that serious and credible allegations have been uncovered that suggest Biden benefited from his son Hunter's business dealings while he was vice president. Republicans have been investigating the Biden family's business dealings for about nine months, looking for proof that Joe Biden was improperly involved in Hunter's business dealings in Ukraine and China. However, they have not been able to find any direct evidence of corruption. The impeachment inquiry is not expected to lead to Biden's removal from office, as Democrats control the Senate. However, it could further damage Biden's reputation and increase doubts among the American public about his involvement in his son's business dealings. Some analysts argue that the impeachment inquiry could backfire against Republicans and strengthen support for Biden, as many Americans are more concerned about issues like healthcare, education, the environment, and the economy. Rhino kills zookeeper who was applying insect repellent at Austrian Zoo. ABC. A rhinoceros has attacked and killed a female zookeeper and seriously injured her husband as he tried to save her at a zoo in Salzburg, Austria. The 33-year-old woman, a German citizen, was applying insect repellent to the rhino's body when it attacked, though the reason for the attack is not yet known. The man, a 34-year-old Austrian, suffered a fractured leg and the woman was said to have suffered severe chest injuries. The zoo will remain closed for two days while police investigate. Letters, the dangers of letting unqualified staff decide who gets to see a GP. Telegraph, the practice of allowing GP reception staff to decide who needs to see a GP and who doesn't has already been going on for too long, with devastating consequences for some people. My mother lost her sight in one eye because reception staff decided she did not need a face-to-face -face appointment with a GP. A receptionist cannot possibly be qualified to recognize every urgent case and my mother's experience proves this point. Sadly, nothing can give my mother her sight back, but stopping unqualified people making decisions that only a highly qualified professional should be making is the only action that will prevent this happening to someone else. NHS England seems oblivious to the consequences of its plans. Penny Mordaunt unveils new plan for Royal Yacht Britannia replacement. Telegraph. Former Conservative leadership contender Penny Mordaunt has proposed the construction of three multi-purpose ships to replace the decommissioned Royal Yacht Britannia. The vessels, funded exclusively by the private sector, would be capable of performing a range of roles including disaster relief, research, and cleaning up oceans. They could also be used in operations to tackle illegal migration and for communication purposes. The first ship is expected to cost £150 million, $197 million, with the other two likely to cost significantly less. The Royal Yacht Britannia was decommissioned in 1997 and campaigners have called for a replacement to promote the UK overseas. Daily expects fairly complicated senators' sale to close soon. The Globe and Mail. 
The sale of NHL team the Ottawa Senators to a group led by Michael N. Lauer is almost complete, according to NHL Deputy Commissioner Bill Daly. The sale, which is believed to be worth around $1 billion, faced complications due to the number of investors involved. Daly said that the paperwork and due diligence process is nearly complete and that the transaction should close before or early on in training camp. The 90% stake in the team is being purchased from the adult daughters of late owner Eugene Melnick. Hunt for nearly 70 crocodiles that escaped during floods. The Guardian. Authorities in Maoming, Guangdong Province have launched an operation to find crocodiles that escaped from a commercial crocodile farm during recent floods caused by a typhoon. Over 70 crocodiles were reported to have escaped when a lake at the farm overflowed. Reports in Chinese state media suggest that eight crocodiles have been caught, although the exact number of animals still on the loose is currently unknown. Tony Blair tells labor to avoid taxing and spending way out of economic crisis. Telegraph. Former UK Prime Minister Tony Blair has advised the Labour Party to stay in the centre ground and avoid an approach of taxing and spending to address economic challenges. Blair praised Labour leader Keir Starmer for bringing the party back from the brink of extinction but warned that he would face a more difficult situation than Blair did when he came to power in 1997. Blair dismissed criticism of Starmer's policies as too bland and argued that the focus should be on harnessing the technological revolution. He also acknowledged that Starmer has sought his advice on governing. If we don't work quickly, people will die. BBC. Young volunteers in Morocco are leading grassroots efforts to provide aid to communities affected by the recent earthquake. Activists are coordinating the distribution of essential items such as milk, nappies, jam, and bedding to areas in need, often faster than official help. The Moroccan government has faced criticism for rejecting assistance from some countries, but many young volunteers believe the government knows best. The challenge now is organizing and delivering the aid as quickly as possible to the affected areas, many of which are in remote mountain villages. Bankers' 40% pay cuts show the China dream fading in its richest cities. Bloomberg. The rising cost of living and stagnant wages in China's major cities is creating an under-the-radar threat to President Xi Jinping's campaign to revive economic growth. Hiring salaries in Shanghai and Beijing dropped by 9% and 6% respectively in Q2 2022, according to Xiaoping data. The slump is the largest since at least 2015 and contrasts with government figures indicating nationwide wage increases. The trend is affecting various sectors, including finance and technology, as well as traditionally stable government jobs. The risk is a downward spiral that leaves workers cutting back further on spending, hindering Beijing's efforts to restore confidence. Indonesia's potential ban on social media sales could hit TikTok live sellers. South China Morning Post. Indonesia is planning to ban goods transactions on social media platforms, such as TikTok and Facebook, under new trade regulations. The move comes as the government aims to protect offline markets from e-commerce sellers using predatory pricing. The current trade regulations do not specifically cover direct transactions on social media, prompting the need for revisions. TikTok, which has 2 million sellers in Indonesia, has said it has no plans to roll out a cross-border business in the country. Indonesia's e-commerce sector is expected to grow to $95 billion by 2025. Japan corporate mood sours on fears of China-led global downtown, Reuters poll. Reuters. Confidence at big Japanese manufacturers has fallen the most in eight months, according to a Reuters poll. The sentiment index for the sector dropped to plus 4 in September from plus 12 in August the biggest drop since January. The survey also showed that the sentiment index for the services sector fell by 9 points to plus 23 in September, the largest decline since May 2020. Many Japanese firms cited elevated input costs of raw materials and weak demand at home and abroad as reasons for the decline in confidence. The survey raises doubts about whether exports can fuel an economic recovery in Japan in the face of weak domestic demand. Conservatives warned by MI5 that two potential MPs could be Chinese spies. Telegraph. Two potential candidates for the UK Conservative Party have been dropped from consideration after MI5 warned that they could be Chinese spies, according to The Times. The Security Service reportedly advised the party in 2021 and 2022 that the individuals should not be included on the central list of candidates. A spokesperson for the Conservative Party stated that they act upon credible information regarding security concerns. The revelations come amid ongoing debates about the UK's relationship with China, following the arrest of a parliamentary researcher on suspicion of spying for Beijing. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. 
These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.